Three months ago, building an app required six months of development, a $300,000 budget, a team of five devs, and praying that nothing went wrong. Yesterday, I created and deployed my own SaaS in just 30 minutes. Let me take you through a step-by-step -step on how you can do the same. As always, I have a link in the description below, but today we are looking at Apicus AI. So when you're signed in, you're going to see some stuff on the left. You're going to see projects, you're going to see chats, you're going to see Deep Agent. We're going to hit the plus on Deep Agent. We want Deep Agent working. We're going to enter in our prompt and we're going to hit go. So our prompt says build a simple social posting app and we have a list of features we want it to include so users can sign up, log in, authenticate. Users can share an image with text with their image. All users can see the feed of recent posts from all the users. So I know what you're thinking, hey, kind of like Instagram, but no, it is going to be different. Just bear with me for a second. Posts are shown one at a time and users can swipe left and right for like and dislike. They should also be allowed to comment on and use a clean and minimal interface. Include navigation between the home feed, profiles, user's own posts, and new posts. And there should be store the posts and user data with a simple backend. So it isn't just gonna make a fake application, it is building a real SaaS that you can start using, start promoting and start making money from. So it is building the backend as well. And it says ensure that the experience is responsive and smooth. So I basically gave it an outline of what I want my application to have, what I want my application to be. And I set the angles to allow users to test out YouTube thumbnails with other YouTubers to see if it is a good thumbnail prior to using it on YouTube and get feedback from the community. So imagine like a whole website where YouTubers can go on and try out thumbnails because they're so important for the algorithm. So if you click this video, it's probably because you thought the thumbnail was good and I don't know what it's going to be yet, but thank you for clicking and consider subscribing because I cover AI on a daily basis. But here we go. It says, before I build your social posting app on YouTube for thumbnail testing, I need to clarify a few things. So it says user authentication so users sign up with email password or would you prefer social login so we can just go through and answer these questions so let's start with number one we can say social login is good we can go to number two image upload what's the maximum size so we should say hey no more than two megabytes i guess and pngs and jpgs are okay we can go to like post interactions so besides like dislike and comment, do you want any other engagement features like like sharing or saving posts? So maybe we want the users to be able to like posts and share them. And now we have some profile options. So it says on the profile page, should users be able to edit their profile information or just view their posts? So let's say just view for now, because we don't want to make it too complex. Content moderation, do we need any basic content filtering or report for inappropriate content? So it's coming up with everything we need for our application. You can see what I put in as my prompt. It's already saying, hey, we need content moderation. So let's just say like for now, reporting uh, option and we Let's make it number five, so reporting option. And let's go number six, it says a database. So it says, I recommend building the app using our built-in database and hosting directly on DeepAgent. This is faster and more efficient. Is it okay to proceed with our own built-in? So let's just say yes, because that is the easiest and fastest way. It says developing a YouTube thumbnail testing web application. Here's phase one, we can kind of scroll through. We can actually click this file and we can see the code that is written to the file. So we have streaming on, we can see live in real time what it is coding. So this is Abacus Deep Agent coding a SaaS for us based off all our requirements and honestly, it was like one prompt. And then it basically said, hey, what do you really want? Can you verify it and clarify some of these things that you want? We're going to make it for you. And it's going to build us a beautiful app, a beautiful SaaS that we can use to make money in just literally less than 30 minutes, we can build it. So this is our first prompt. We're gonna see what it's gonna come up with. And again, you can just kind of see it code. It's thinking, it's making all these files. This isn't like a large language model. This is a deep agent. It has the ability to run the code and I will show you, let me X out here. I can actually click here. It's going to run the code. It's going to verify, it's going to check things. It's going to check for errors. It is a lot better than your just everyday large language model for coding. And you're going to see the output in just a second and how amazing this actually is.
you can now see our application is done being built and it says, hey, this is just a preview. If you want the world to see it, you need to deploy it. And we can one click deploy this out for everyone to see. You can see what it's built on, the different architectures, the different tech that they used. We can actually see the code if we want. We can edit the code in the Explorer. We can go through, we can see all the different files. We can also go to database and we can see users. For example, there's this John Doe and we can actually see that the password is encrypted, but we can export as a CSV. We can see like likes, we can see all the different database tables that exist inside of our application, which is just wild. If we go to preview, we can actually say, hey, let's sign back in. If we knew the John Doe password and email, we could. We can also just sign up. So if we click sign up, we're going to be given a screen that looks like this. We have a username, email, password. So let me quickly fill this in. I'm gonna move myself out of the way so you guys can see it a little bit better. But now we can actually sign in with a username and password. So my username that we can put in and now my password, which is a super secure password. And we are signing in and we are now logged in to our application with a real database backend. So this isn't like fake. We can actually see my profile if we had posts and we can see that it says thumb test and it actually has like a little icon. Let's try to upload a post now. So I've uploaded a couple of thumbnails already, but let me show you how it works. So say this one is about vibe coding, okay? And that is what my video is about. I can say, hey, vibe coding, and that's the title of my video. It obviously would be a better title than that, but let's upload a thumbnail now. So here's the thumbnail I've used recently for vibe coding. We can hit create post. It is going to create a post on the home feed, and we can see my post here it was created less than a minute ago. We have the title of the post, and now people can give it a thumbs up, a thumbs down. They can leave a comment saying, hey, they really like this. They don't think it's great. And you can kind of scroll through and you can see all the different posts I have. We can also go to my profile and we can see my profile. We can see the posts, the total likes, comments that I have on my posts, and we are building an actual application. You'll notice that the swipe isn't there. That's because it said, hey, this might be a little complex. So we're gonna go back and we're going to say, hey, add the swipe feature now so we can swipe left or right on photos that are good, whether you like or dislike, and then maybe swipe up to add comments. So something like that. So let's go modify our application by just prompting. So I have a new prompt now that says, I want the homepage to show the latest posts, swipe right to like, swipe left to dislike, just like the thumbs up and down, and then swipe up to open the comment window and it should go to the next post. I want fancy animations in between. So it says, hey, I'm gonna transform your homepage into an engaging, swipeable interface like TikTok, Instagram stories with smooth animations. And let me create the swipe-based post viewer with fancy transitions. So we're taking our application with a database that exists and we are now adding a nice swipe animation. Our SaaS is coming to life. All right, we are ready to test now. So it says your YouTube thumbnail testing app now has that addictive TikTok style interface that keeps users engaged. So the swipe gesture feels natural, animations are smooth, and the full screen experience makes the thumbnails really pop. So we can actually see everything. Let's just move this out of the way. We, so now you can see our application here. We can swipe right to like the post, so we'll like this one. And then we can go swipe left to say nope, or swipe right to say yep. So it's kind of fun to go back and forth. So let's just go here, we're gonna swipe. In the top right, we can hit the plus. This is gonna bring us to the screen to add a post. We can come back home. We can click the user and we can see the user's page and we can see all of their posts. So it's kind of still the list view, which is kind of cool. So you kind of get a nice mix and we can always go back home. We can comment and now we can quickly swipe through posts to say, hey, we like and dislike different posts. So we can get YouTubers to sign up, add their thumbnails and they can start getting feedback on their thumbnails. When we are ready, we can hit deploy, and now we can actually deploy this to production. So Abacus has an AI domain you can start using. So we can say like thumbtest.abacus.app, and we can deploy it. We can also use a custom domain if we have one, or maybe a custom subdomain. So it is really easy to deploy this stuff, and we are going to hit deploy, and you can see, hey, deployment successful, your app will be available in one minute. We can see our deployed URL here, thumbtest.abacus.app, and we can click it and bam, we have our application, we can sign in, we can have accounts, and people can actually start using our application. 
So as you can see, using Abacus AI, we can create a SaaS really quickly, software as service really fast. We can prompt and say, hey, we wanna add Stripe payments, for example. We wanna add this, we wanna add that. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I was able to make a SaaS uh, for a client very quickly using this product. It is wild how good it is because it's an agent, it's not a large language model, and it has a lot of really cool built-in features that make it really easy to use and really quick to get set up and going. So as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I have a link in the description below if you wanna give this a try. Love to know what your thoughts are on this one. I think vibe coding with agents like Abacus AI is incredible. Abacus AI is a really good tool. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video. It tells algorithm you enjoy this type of content and you want to see more of it. And don't forget to subscribe. I cover AI on a daily basis. So thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with another AI video.